Hello, my name is Brianna Montemayor. I am in LEAPS and I had the opportunity to research about drones and 3D printing with Mr. Sergio Luján. Drones, um, many of us know what they are, but maybe we don't know what they're used for. So drones are used to conduct many different researches. And 3D printers, 3D printers, um, they, they really contribute to the manufacturing of the making of the drone. But not, um, but not only that, they also um, help um, in other work fields. So in this presentation, we will be viewing how 3D printers um, help us in the present and how they can help um, even at the point of saving one's lives. And also how they make very important, um, how they help um, the making of the drone. And we will also be viewing how drones, um, they're used, what they're used for, and what we're supposed to do before um, being able to fly a drone or obtain one. So for my methodology, I use Google Scholar. Um, I, um, it really helped me very much. And I typed um, a lot of specific um, keywords. I mean, for example, some of them were drones, 3D printing, um, 3D printers. And, you know, when I did that, it took me directly to where um, I needed and it, it helped me find what I, what I really wanted in order to complete this research. So drones, drones are used to make, um, a lot of universal researches, so they can help out in the construction field, or they can also help um, um, find uh, scientific um, um, resources, re researches, um, and which helps us discover new things that maybe we didn't know. But in order to actually um, do that, we need to have a permit to fly a drone, and we need to learn about the regulations and rules um, that it might have. So, but this is also very important because yes, you might know your own countries and states rules um, concerning the flying of drones, but if you go to another country, the regulations and rules might differ. So you really want to research and um, learn about the other countries, um, the other countries regulations before actually flying a drone. So 3D printing, printers and 3D printing. Um, 3D printers, um, yes, they, they help so much. Um, why? Because they make specific parts for the drones that without them, the drones would, wouldn't be able to help or wouldn't even exist. So yes, they help out in that way very much, but not only that, they also help in different work fields. For example, one of, it, one of the work fields is the medical field. So a 3D printer can print out specific parts a surgeon might need to save a person's life. Why? Because that person might not have that part, that body part. So we are so very thankful to the ones who made the 3D printers um, because clearly they are saving lives and they're helping us in the moment. And we know that they will continue helping us. So in this presentation, we saw how um, 3D printers can save lives and how they also contribute to the making of the drone because they make very important parts that if they didn't, the drones wouldn't, um, they wouldn't work. And drones, um, drones contribute and make a lot of, um, they make a lot of, they help and make, um, and they conduct a lot of they help you conduct a lot of universal researches. And not only that, well, yes, you, to conduct a lot of researches, but you also need to, um, you need to know some rules before flying it. So next semester, um, I plan on learning more about these two um, amazing products and um, amazing objects, which is the 3D printer and the drones. Um, and hopefully I can try to print a drone part um, using a 3D printer and hopefully I am successful while doing it. 
So I did have some limitations due to COVID. For example, some were um, some fun limitations, some were the lack of resources. And I was not able to test um, for myself the, the 3D printer and a drone. But hopefully next semester, I will be able to do that. And for the acknowledgements, I want to thank Dr. Nora Garza, which is the Vice President for Resource Development and External Affairs. In, in, is in the Department of Resource Development of Laredo College, and also Ms. Rosemary Aguero Riojas, which is the LEAPS Project Director and is in the Department of Resource Development of Laredo College, Mr. Ser Sergio Lujan, which is, the, which is in the Computer Drafting and Design Technology, and also in Laredo College, um, also Jaime Cuatino from Laredo College, and Gabriela Solis Cavazos, an undergraduate research coordinator in which is in the department of resource development of the Rito college and also the ones who founded this research which is the hispanic serving institute or the hsi title third stem articulation and pro project title title third leaps and these are my resources my citations and thank you so much for listening for my presentation <laughs>